everyone, welcome back to Vlogtober and it's day number five, I think. It is Monday and um, I've just got up, um, had a shower, got up, uh, made the lunches. Um, I'm just drinking a coffee now. I'm a bit tired today because I had a really bad night's sleep. I just kept waking up and then I woke up perfectly fine at 5am and um, I was like, no, go back to sleep. So then I went back to sleep. It's the worst decision you can make, that. Um, so when I actually woke up at like half past six, quarter to seven, I felt rough because I hadn't had enough sleep, weirdly. Anyway, um, yeah, it's Monday and um, I'm just, the kids are just getting up basically and getting dressed. And um, Alfie's had his breakfast. So he's all ready and um, yeah, I need to go upstairs and sort the other two out. Uh, Oliver is not going straight to school today. He is going to a dentist appointment. So he has a dentist appointment at 10. He is, he went to orthodontics you see and now he's back at the dentist to have some teeth taken out and one of them filled because he needs one of them filled so um yeah that's what he's doing i think it's the filling today he's never had a filling so he doesn't i don't i don't know how he's going to react to it but we'll see we'll get in there and we'll see how he how he goes anyway i'm going to drink this coffee i'm going to run upstairs i'm going to sort the kids out and then i will speak to you when i'm less busy hey everyone i got back from the school run oliver is um uh, upstairs and he is going to his dentist appointment but he is kind of refusing to have his teeth done but we're gonna go anyway um i need to do a quick hoover and um before we go and then i'm gonna get in the car and take him it's in lancaster so we have to drive to lancaster and find a parking spot and uh yeah i don't think he's gonna go through Hi everyone, we are now in Lancaster. I've just put money on the parking. I put two hours on. So I was telling Oliver that he needs to uh, get his filling done. So he's a bit nervous, but I just was like, it's fine. It doesn't hurt at all. Mostly because they give you local anaesthetic. Anyway, I am gonna go. We're gonna go and we're gonna sit in the waiting room and we have to walk to the dentist, which is about five minutes that way. So I will talk to you in a bit I got back from uh, the appointment. Oliver had his filling, so that's good. Um, so, and he found it all right, and he's gone back to school. It's a bit numb, his face, but other than that, it's fine. He actually has another filling. So in a couple of weeks, we're going back for another filling. So that is the plan. Um, they just did a small one today to get him like used to being numbed and stuff. So that is good he did it he was fine he was a little bit nervous and he had to put headphones on um, and listen to some music so then he couldn't hear the it was the suction thing that he didn't like the um he didn't like the sound of so 
anyway i am making myself a coffee i've been on hold for like a, an hour to a delivery company that is delivering my new bed right because i bought a new bed over a month ago now and it is all messed up so um yeah and the company has been really useless so but it's coming on wednesday so i'm gonna have to sort of be in for that so that is what's happening so that's coming on wednesday anyway i am going to drink this coffee i need it i just feel that way out today and i've been on hold for like an hour and i'm hungry and i'm just i'll speak to you later when i feel more alive hi everyone um i have had my coffee i feel a little bit more human now it was um I only had one coffee this morning and then I was rushing around getting Oliver to the appointment and then back to school and then um, I was on the phone to the delivery company for an hour and it was just a bit stressy so I've had my coffee and I feel a little bit more alive now. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, it was about the bed. So basically, um, our mattress is really old so um, it's... It, it was quite cheap and it's like 10 years old now so we really needed to replace the mattress so um yeah because mark keeps waking up with a bad back all the time so we think it's got something to do with the mattress being old and cheap basically so we thought oh if we're going to change the mattress we might as well change the bed because the bed is also old and it's being held together with massive screws that we've just had to drill through the, like the main, um, the main wood at the bottom of the bed to hold the legs on. So like the bottom bit has come away from the leg, basically. And on Mark's side, the big long piece of wood uh, that holds the top and the bottom together is a little bit, um, it's wood, you see, it's a, uh, it's breaking, it's broken, really. So, um, yeah, that might snap in half at some point in the future. So we thought, if we're going to get a mattress, we might as well get a new bed as well. So we've ordered a bed and a mattress. So that was, it's coming up, it's well over a month ago, so it's about five weeks ago, coming up to six weeks, um, that we ordered this bed. And um, it was out for delivery um, on the 5th of, um, I booked it in and everything for delivered on the 5th of uh, September and nothing turned up. And then, so I rang the delivery company and they went, they haven't sent us anything, even though they'd booked it all in. The delivery company booked it all in and they were like, no, the company hasn't sent us the items. And I was like, well, that's odd. So then I was on hold with the company over and over again for hours at a time. Hours. And um, then they kept saying, oh, uh, they have it. They just haven't sent you a delivery notification. I was like, they have. And they say that they don't have it. And then last week, they were like, they definitely have it. And they've been trying to send you text messages. And I was like, I haven't received any text messages. So then today I've rang them. And um, they didn't have my number correct. They didn't have my email address correct. Even though they did do previous. Because I booked a delivery and stuff. Through text and email. And um, I don't even think they had my name correct. As some random person. But under my address. So I have no idea what went on. Um, they booked it in for Wednesday, so it's coming on Wednesday now. I don't hold any hope of it actually arriving on Wednesday, but that's when it's booked in. So we will see. Hi everyone, it is a little bit later now. Is this focused? I'm not in very good lighting. Um, it's a little bit later now, it's half past two. I am just waiting to go pick up Alfie and then I go for Oscar after him. So I'm just waiting around really just to um, go pick up Alfie basically. Not focused again. Yeah, uh, Mark finished work. He is on the way to get 
Oliver. <laughs> Although it'll be very early because it's only half past two and Oliver doesn't come out till like half past three. So he's coming from Preston though. So um, it will take him a while to drive to his school, like 45 minutes, something like that. Maze is bubbling on the uh, clean uh, oh, um, blankets. We clean the blankets and we just put them there next to the washing and she's sleeping on them so they're not clean anymore anyway i am just about to go out i feel that way out today it's just one of those days i just feel a little bit like i haven't really got much done um the house is a little bit of a mess it's cold i am freezing i had to put fleece on uh, my hands are freezing like i put them in my pocket but they're cold they're like ice um, I think it's that time where I start putting the heating on for an hour or two a day. Yeah, I'm going to go in about 10 minutes and go pick up Alfie and then Oscar and then hopefully come back and have something to eat because I still haven't eaten anything and I'm starving. <laughs> Right, so that was a really, really nice meal. Um, I've kept a bit for tomorrow for lunch, so it should be all right, shouldn't it, to heat up and eat tomorrow for lunch, but just a little portion. So, I um, our Amazon delivery just came. What I bought was um, the air fryer liners, because these are really useful. Um, I got these um, things to go around. I'll, sh I'll get them out and I'll show you. But they're basically holders for um, AirPods. Because when I ever clean or do a lot of activity, they keep falling out of my ear. I must have really large ears. <laughs> large ear holes. I don't know. They just keep moving out of my ears. So I bought them. And these cushion covers because I ruined some cushion covers when i washed them so i've had to buy some more because the cushions themselves are absolutely fine so i just bought some more cushion covers so these are only just little like um rubber like wires that have like a, a magnet in them they can they stick together you just put your airpod like arms in and then when they fall out they just stay on you um I needed some because they just keep falling out, um, my AirPods. And I'm really worried that if I'm like cleaning something like the toilet or something, it would just like go into the toilet and be ruined. They also came out um, when I was mowing the garden a couple of weeks ago and I was like, oh God, I could have mowed over that. And then I thought, oh God, I might lose them one day if they keep falling out. So I thought when I go on my walks, it would be good to have these in case it drops out and I lose it. So yeah, I got these. There's a pack of three. I think there's a black, a blue and a white one. that's me done for vlogtober day five um i'm gonna go for a nice long bath and possibly watch some vlogtober videos because when you're doing your own videos you don't have much time to watch other people's because you're always editing and all that jazz so i am off into the bath and to relax because i'm feeling a little bit achy actually I think it's just all the walking that I've been doing recently. Increasing my step count. Um, yeah, so Oliver has gone to sleep. Um, I just checked on him in his room and he's fast asleep. So I think all the dentist appointments and all the stress that he's had today has got to him. So he's gone to sleep and Alfie's in the other room just watching telly. And um, Oscar is playing downstairs with Mark. So yeah, everybody's... 
in different places of the house so i'm gonna have a nice bath so i will see you again tomorrow for vlogtober day six but thank you very much for watching this one and i'll see you tomorrow bye